Epilepsy started for me when I was 16. I was at Christmas, my mum, my dad, my younger brother, we were just in the sitting room. We'd been playing a board game, myself and my brother, and I stood up and according to my mother got a strange look on my face and keeled over and took the Christmas tree with me. I was a teenager, so I suppose it was hard from the standpoint of obviously just coming to terms with having something completely new in my life that had never been there before. I'd never really been seriously ill when it came to anything. My parents, my family, myself, we didn't really know anything about epilepsy. There'd never been anybody in the family that had had epilepsy before. So it involved going, talking to school principals, um, making sure they were aware of what had happened. Obviously then saying it to people that I knew and my friends, who in fairness to all of them at the time were behaved less like teenage boys than you would normally presume. I went to an all boys Christian brother school and were very accommodating and very very together about it and nobody made a, a big deal out of it and, and it was just accepted that well if it happens that we know what to do. Um, in terms of the rest of my life it just then created that sense of I could be walking down the street tomorrow and anything could happen. I could have a seizure here, I could be walking down the stairs, I could be... So I think for a long time I was very clenched afterwards and fully expecting another one to turn up. I had almost seven years at one point where I didn't have a seizure and the one after that was awful. That was obviously the worst that I'd ever had because I had the seizure. I was with my young son at the time. I was home. He was no more than I think three or four and it was just the two of us at home and I woke up to the sound of a phone ringing somewhere in the house and it was my wife at the time who was on the phone calling from work just to check in to see how things were and I'd obviously had a seizure. Usually when I, I come out of a seizure I'm quite incoherent. I, I border on if you've ever seen anybody who's quite severely drunk that's usually the way I sound when I come up out of a seizure. I'm usually slurring my words. Um, so she knew instantly what had happened and came straight home. But I think, again, once I'd gone to bed for a few hours and woke up and accommodated that it had been a very long time since I'd had one. And it meant simple things like being off the road again and I couldn't drive anymore. And more than that, the possibility that it could happen again at any time. That was, that was the worst one and it was hard to deal with. Since I was a kid, and in particular since I became involved with, with Brainwave, I've, I've only ever used the words that I have epilepsy. I wouldn't refer to myself as an epileptic. I'd never say I'd, I've had a fit. Um, I've even become one of those people who, if, if people are having a conversation with me and they go, you know, also oh, you're an epileptic, and I'll go, well, no, we don't really call it that anymore. Instead, we say we have epilepsy and seizures or fits. I've started correcting people. I've become, you know, one of those people who does that. But I'd never say I have a fit, or I'd never say that I'm an epileptic. I think people have misconceptions about every medical condition. I think there are a lot associated with epilepsy and certainly I, I found them out fairly quickly. Um, the, the, the spoon in the mouth one, that's, and that's Victorian pretty much, don't put a wooden spoon or a spoon or an object of any kind in someone's mouth when they're, when they're having a seizure. If you do come across somebody who's having a seizure, a friend, a family member or even somebody on the street, you just need to allow them to go through the seizure itself. If they start to have a second seizure or more then it's, it's quite possible that you do need to, to seek medical help. Usually you won't need to call an ambulance. Don't give people something to eat or drink either uh, immediately after a seizure and again just allow them to, to come around in, in their own time and just comfort them and chances are they'll, they'll be okay. Again, if you think you do need to seek medical attention after that, that's usually the main preconceptions when it comes to somebody actually physically having a seizure.